And so today's title of today's discussion is how to reduce controversial, disproportionate student discipline in schools. Disproportional student discipline has a correlation to the perception of physical attributes which are highlighted by many media sources. The results are problematic for schools that desire to eliminate the perception of racism. Schools can eliminate disproportionate discipline by utilizing two of my latest inventions. One is the Recelerate Formula. The other is the Recelerate Continuum. Now, I was reading an article titled, People Often See Black Men as Larger and Stronger Than White Men Even When They're Not, says this study. The American Psychological Association Journal of Personality and Social Psychology published findings that reveal why black men are stereotyped by whites. whites. The study found that non-black participants were prone to believing that black men are more capable of physical harm than white men of the same size. It was also noted that non-black observers believed that police would be more justified in the use of force on these black men even if the men are unarmed than on their white counterparts. That's huge. Now, this article is problematic for two reasons. The first problem is that the article fails to provide what has caused these perceptions that are detrimental to black men. Secondly, the article fails to provide a solution. What good is the information without a solution? It can only contribute and in many cases validate the actions of those who continue to, to have actions which contribute to the demise of black men. So my first question is, how do non-blacks develop perceptions that lead to disproportionate discipline in schools? The development of disproportionate student discipline begins with how the color of black is portrayed. For example, now I'm a fan of Spider-Man, and I remember watching a movie where for a short period of time, Spider-Man became evil. When he transformed into an evil character, his costume turned black. Even the element that contributed to him turning evil was the color black. Now, when Spider-Man returned to himself in his original ways, his uniform turned to red. If you evaluate the differences, it could indicate that black is bad or harmful, and the red that normally represents the Ku Klux Klan, or even being a Nazi, is good. Now, other symbols of hatred that are associated with red and include the Confederate flag and the swastika. The results of this media-induced color code system is consistent with the recelerate formula, for, I mean, recelerate phenomenon for which I have developed. The recelerate phenomenon has roots in Newton's third law of motion. Newton's third law of motion states that when one body exerts, exerts a force on a second body, the second body simultaneously exerts a force equal in magnitude and opposite in direction on the first body. The third law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The recelerate ph phenomenon follows the same principles as Newton's third law of motion, 
in that whenever there is a perceived infringement by a black male against a white female, there is a negative overreaction portrayed in the media. Specifically, the Recelere phenomenon states that for every action that a black man takes against a white female, there is an elevated negative reaction towards black men. The Recelere phenomenon is the cause of many racial tensions between blacks and whites, and it also sets up the pecking order according to racism. Now, there are two solutions for the Recelerate phenomenon, and they are the Recelerate formula and the Recelerate continuum, which helps educators engage in safe discussions about race and racism. Now, I developed both of these components, the Recelerate formula and the Recelerate continuum. continuum. The Recelerate formula is used to eliminate disproportionate discipline which contributes to the perception of racism. The Recelerate formula is free, so any school can use it, and provides schools and teachers an opportunity to reflect on their practice before challenges associated with disproportional discipline surface. Now the Recelerate continuum has six different categories for discussions and those six categories are teacher discrimination, black and Hispanic student beliefs, school student racial disparity, discrimination in the classroom, teacher-student verbal behaviors, and teacher-student nonverbal behaviors. Now when the Recelerate Continuum is used properly, it helps educators to have safe discussions regarding racism and therefore improve the education for all students. You see, schools can reduce controversial disproportionate discipline which contributes to our young men becoming incarcerated by using the Recelerate formula and the Recelerate continuum. This is Dr. Campbell. Uh, you, can you can read about this video. You can look at other videos as well as additional information on my website at www.positiveracialrelationships.com of course, if you want to talk about it, you can call me on my direct line, 856-566-3267. Have a great day, and thank you very much. Yeah. Be sure to check out PositiveRacialRelationships.com. Check it. Love, uh, yo, love. Pull your pencils out, classes in session. Let's focus on loving our neighbor without a question. Visit PositiveRacialRelationships.com. Leading classrooms together like a marriage bond. Kick racism out, that ain't what life's about. For more information, check the website out. Yeah.